G'day folks, it's your boy Greg Nash, we're back for another month of Power BI feature, summary, release, day stuff. I'm a couple of days late, I apologise. I didn't feel like it, what can you do? Uh, I got a green screen and that's why I'm superimposed over the top of this now, which is fun. Uh, let's go. Visuals, 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 visuals. It's almost all about visuals this month. The loads of new visuals, updating the existing visuals, lovely. We're, we're helping users get started with the introduction of canvas watermarks, yes. Power BI is getting a shiny new icon, yes, yes. Everybody's been talking about the icon, or is it a logo? And dismissing, adding a dismiss option to the Power BI desktop splash screen. Well, that's about time. The personalization of visuals is now generally available, cool. And um, we're getting along dynamic end query. After 10 years, support for Windows 7 ended. Hmm, boo-hoo, Windows 7. Rip Windows 7, you were, we knew you well. Uh, Power BI desktop's on Windows 8 only. Okay, great. Uh, the January 2021 release of Power BI desktop optimized for report server will be supported as per the modern lifecycle policy. Currently scheduled for May 2021. Hmm. Okay, so some... Stuff about the release. Yeah, okay. Uh, we are making the change to the version of .NET that's required to run Power BI Desktop. Oh. 4.6.2 or greater. Oh, God. That's going to cause issue for people deploying Power BI Desktop. Watch out. People deploy Power BI Desktop. Okay. Uh, let's have a look. Reporting. Reporting. Go. Canvas watermarks for new Power BI users can be difficult to know where to start. Oh yeah, I noticed these come in. Yeah, you get this thing. Drag stuff here so that to get started. Yeah, I think the more we we add this kind of stuff for people getting started, the better. But that's really only for brand new users, right? Surely it's only brand new users. What's loaded? There's little watermarks. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And you can click on them, can you? At our very first sample data set loaded directly into Power BI Desktop. You don't have to fish around to find the sample data set. Oh, you can use a sample data set. That's nice. And a sample data set tutorial. Oh, we should have a look at that. Let's have a look. If you're getting started with Power BI Excel, from Excel to stunning report. Oh, cool. And then you can make your own little, oh, that's sweet. Are they going to add this to dashboard in a day? How's this going to work? What do we get? What's in there? Load the data. The financial sample. Yeah, look. Ooh, financials. Wonder who did this? Government, mid market. I like that. We can filter out Montana. There you go. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. Good good way to get people to get started. So if you're getting started with Power BI, now you can just open Power BI desktop and click on the thing and, and then it works. That's awesome. Uh, watch the following vi video. Okay. Personalized visuals is now generally available. Yeah, so you can personalize your own visual when you're the user. You go, hey, I don't want this to be a bar chart. I want it to be a table or a matrix or a clustered column graph or whatever you want it to be. Um, coach marks. Oh, is that what they, these things are called? Coach marks. Got it. Use this to do that. So the first time they do it, it'll be like, hey, do you want to click on here? So this is like if you make it a pie graph, but... Users are like, I hate pie graphs. I want something else. They can change it. It's personalized just for them. Very cool. Uh, don't summarize. Yeah, enable, disable at page level. Okay, embed for your organization. Wait, we know so many users Power BI reports that embedded their own applications. So you want to extend that to common embed scenarios for your organization. Here's a report that's embedded without ever leaving Teams. Yeah, we know this. Coming soon, this month, we'll add configuration options. So users want to enable the ability to save personal arts for personalized. A personalized view. view. Oh, you can personalize, you can use bookmarks in your team's embedded Power BI. Oh, wow. That's cool. Organizational embed support does not currently include publish to web public. No, of course not. Okay. Data point rectangle select for tree maps oh rectangle select that's nice so you can go Shh. now you can do it in tree maps as well so you can put a rectangle over your rectangles that's nice uh export data from the q a visual we're happy to announce that we have now extended the support 
the support of export data to Q&A visuals. Oh, you can export the data. Oh, you can ask it a question and then export the data. That's nice. Uh, people love this export data. They use it all the time because Power BI, it's like an integration thing, except it's not. It's a reporting thing. But everybody wants to extract the data. Dynamic M query parameters. When filtering and interacting with a direct query report, end users want the best of both worlds, snappy performance and query performance optimization without compromising a report interactive. We're introducing a new feature, dynamic M query parameters. This Power BI allows M query parameters to dynamically be updated by report consumers, consumers based on their filter or slicer selections. Control over how end users get incorporated. Ooh, okay. So is this like similar to SSRS where you can you put your parameters on your queries? It has to be T-SQL. No, not T-SQL. So SQL is not supported. Well, what is supported? As a query prerequisite, you have to have a valid M query parameter created on one or more direct query tables, but the following direct query sources are not supported. Anything T-SQL literally every kind of Microsoft server live connected. Yes. Other unsupported data sources are Oracle, Teradata and relational SAP. What, <laughs> what is supported? Nothing partially supported through XMLA. What? In, in, in Power BI desktop, you need to launch Power Query from the, what, what are you, what, uh, Okay, that looks like very useful. Once you have created the parameters, you can reference them in your M query. Oh, well, that's nice. You can query. So I like query parameters, but why? I don't, I don't understand. Is it like for AP? I don't know. I don't know. The answer is I don't know. Single select, multi select. Yes, great. Oh, a multi-select parameter. Ooh, that's cool too. Okay. Automatic, I don't get that at all, as you can tell by my reaction. Automatic table detection from Excel files. When using the Excel connector, this use this new feature will automatically identify sections of each Excel spreadsheet to extract into a table. Oh, if you don't, oh, that's nice, suggested tables. Oh, so this is so you don't actually have to have tables and you still get the power of tables. So if you want to have multiple tables on an Excel spreadsheet, you have to control T them. You have to convert them to tables first or named ranges might work. I don't know if named ranges work, but you have to convert them to tables, right? And that's you do it. Like if you use, like if you use Excel properly, that's what you do. You select all your data and you turn it into a table and it makes it nicer. But, uh, and Power BI will detect those tables and then you can have multiple tables on one sheet. But this looks like they're automatically detecting it for you now on the sheet. So you don't, if there's enough gap, I guess, between the two. Uh, so interesting. Automatic table detection from JSON files as well. Very nice. Data connectivity. Power BI connectors allow you to bring in outside data into Power BI. Here are some data sources. Broader geographical support for Power Platform Data Flows Connector. Oh. We're happy to bring ge broader geographic. Oh, so now you can do it in Germany, in the UAE, in Switzerland, and South Africa. Oh, that's nice. I think we are already supported here in Australia, I think. MariaDB now supports direct query. Cool. So if you've got a MariaDB, now you can do direct query, which is great. If you've got a big, giant, ginormous MariaDB and you need to have like you know, direct query solution for, and then aggregations and stuff. Bam, you can do it now. That's awesome. Updated SharePoint online list connector. Updated SharePoint online list connector. Oh, the list, the new lists. Yeah, I'm not surprised because the lists have changed in SharePoint. So they have to update it to reflect the new lists. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, yeah, lots of different list stuff. Yeah, you get all that stuff. New connectors, Spigot and Eway CRM. Cool. Don't know about that. Don't know about Spigot and don't know what Eway CRM is, but I hope someone out there is uh, using it and then having good times. Oh, there we go. 
it's the employee, partner or customer that can radically, tra- oh, somewhere in the mind is an idea that can transform your business. Spigot Innovation Management Software. Hmm? Innovation Management. There you go. It's an OData URL. Uh, yes. Anyway. Oh, it's a CRM in Outlook. Very cool. Updated the new look experience and release plan. The new look of Power BI services evolving, evolving again. Okay, so it's going to look new. Oh, look at this. Power BI for HoloLens 2 preview. Now you can pin your reports in the middle of the air with your crazy HoloLens. If anyone has a HoloLens 2, let me know. I want to have a play. Um, hello, I'm big into HoloLens. I'm, I'm a, I, I had a HoloLens user group for a while. And uh, we just, you know, just didn't have enough people. Power BI continues to innovate, and here's HoloLens too. I really love the HoloLens, though. It's amazing. If you haven't had a chance to try one, go to a Microsoft thing and check it out. It's so cool. And the HoloLens 2 is even better because you get a wider, you know, angle of attack or whatever. Uh, field of view, that's what they call it. Um, automatic page refresh is now supported on the Windows app. Report pages using auto page refresh will now also be refreshed in the Windows app. Oh, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> the slideshows and presentations in real time. I tried to do this like with the Windows app on Power BI, like uh, one of the first dashboards I built and I used the Windows app and it wouldn't refresh and it, would, it destroyed me. So look, five years later, they sent out the support. Thank you, Power BI. Uh, support for notch displays. iPads and iPhones so now support notch display. Giving you more screen space. Oh, that's nice. Very cool. Uh, embedded. Power BI automation and APIs. APIs now support viewer role. Viewer role gives a read-only experience. This role should be assigned to users who need to view content within workspaces without ability to modify it. Starting now, Power BI APIs support view role. You can add a... Oh, that's nice. View permission. Embedded analytics. This is what we need. New look for Power BI embedded. Coming soon. There's a new look. Okay. Yeah, because I think embedded is like a bit behind in terms of the look and feel. If you put a... If you have an embedded app and you and you um, put it in edit mode. It like comes up with the black sidebar, like the 1983 version of Power BI to edit it. So I think they do need to update it. Uh, personal bookmarks now available for embed for your organization. Oh, personal bookmarks, nice. Personalized visual, nice. Report action bar and persistent filters. Report action bar. Oh, that's that thing on the right where you can do that stuff. That's cool too. And persistent filter. So they can filter it and then they don't have to filter it again. Visualizations. New admin capabilities for app source visuals. Yep. And a ton of new visuals. Oh my goodness. Look at all these cloud scope visuals. Oh my God. So many cloud scope. Hey, it's Zebra. Good old Zebra. We love Zebra. Looks like they've got some more visuals. Yeah, these Zebra VI charts are amazing. You should check them out if you haven't already, especially if you're doing FP and A and financials. Like they got all this cool like dynamic and they like split apart and stuff. They're really cool. Uh, watch the video and you'll see that. Uh, yeah, scientific method to find a way to sort of save report space. Yeah, so they like the the their visuals like. Ag- yeah, they, they merge together and stuff when you when you don't have as much space. It's very cool. Yeah, look, you can do these really nice P&Ls. Okay, roadmap. Oh, like a plan. Oh, that's nice. Adwise roadmap. Comprehensive visual to help your project plan. The Gantt charts have been horrible in Power BI in the past. Um, I haven't done one recently. I don't know if there's a good one other than this, but this one looks nice. It's got all the things that I want to see. It's got what today is the today line and then it's got all the little icony things like gateways and stuff you need those and then you need the teams so this looks like it could be a good one hopefully it's a good one have a play around with that and tell me if it's good if you're doing project reporting um i've got a whole project online thing that i should update with this new one and see how it looks adwise roadmap i like it zoom charts we love zoom charts drill down pie my favorite drill down donuts all the zoomy zooms. Oh, look at these cool things. 
drill down graph. Oh, it's a graph one. So you can do this kind of stuff. Dynamic, hierarchical, radial. Oh, that's nice. Expansions. Does that mean I can create more process stuff? I love my process diagrams. Auras. You can put auras around. Oh, that's nice too. Ooh, me going to play with this one. Drill down graph pro. Show me the network graph. It's like, is it force directed? Can I do a force directed network diagram? I wonder. I can do arrows. I can do arrows. I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Um, new trial experience for Zoom charts. Oh, yeah, they've got a free trial. That's nice too. Bullet chart, nice. A new, another bullet chart. Oh, look at this one. So this has got gray and then gray and then this little inline. Oh, you can do all sorts. This is a proper bullet chart. Standard IBCS bullet, IBCS with comparison band. Oh, I think I've got a customer that needs these. Anyway, uh, editor's picks. HTML content by Daniel Marsh Patrick. Ch check out that if you haven't already. It's pretty sweet. I, I seem to shout out DMP every, every, uh, every every video so yeah shout out to daniel marsh patrick um template apps simplified installation for template apps oh yeah we want template apps yep okay github demo oh that's nice too get your pet oh you can get template apps directly from power bi desktop click that button there and see if you can find a template app for the thing that you're doing i want to build some template apps so look for mine uh, direct query support for template apps. Oh, nice. You can do direct query as well. That's cool too. Power BI. Power Platform Community Conference. Oh, wait. This is already gone. Yeah. Well, hang on. Didn't this blog post only get released the other day? What? Am I way that far behind? It says 22nd of October. When was this released? 20th. Oh, there you go. I'm like six days behind. My goodness. Oh, well. I'm behind. Sorry, guys. Uh, what else? Man, there's lots today. Uh, export data sources to PBIDs in Power BI Desktop. Yeah, data source files. Okay, that's cool. And that's it. Thanks, Caroline, the intern, for working on the export PBI DS files. Nice work, Caroline. Icon update, yes. Across the whole Power Platform, we've got new icons. How cool is that? We've added the long-awaited X to the desktop splash screen. <laughs> oh, look, it launches. It looks like that now, does it? Hmm. I haven't seen that when it launched. Maybe I don't get it. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. And that is it. There you go. That was quite long. There was a lot on there, but not lots of big, major... You know, it was kind of a functional update, wasn't it? It wasn't lots of crazy, crazy cool stuff. Just like little bits and pieces. Little bits and pieces. Lots of visuals. Um, no big... Yeah. No big bang things. Which is a shame. I think my favourite is this. The canvas watermarks. Not the canvas watermarks. The sample data. The sample data. That's my favourite. Let new users learn. You know? Give them something to play around with. I think the more you practice, the better you get. Anyway, we'll see you next month. Have a good one. Bye.